Hello, in this video, I am going to cover the difference between WebGL, OpenGL, and OpenGLES. So, WebGL, it is designed for rendering 2D and 3D graphics. So, let me write WebGL here WebGL, OpenGL, like so. And actually, let me do it a different Let me open up a new one. And what I will do. Here we go. Okay, so there we go. The WebGL, the OpenGL, like so. And okay, so the difference is so this is designed for rendering rendering two G. Three D graphics, and this is designed. This is a cross language and platform API to render two D and three D vector graphics. So there are slight differences, and I'm just going to zoom out a bit so I can get a bit more on there. Next. WebGL is designed to run mainly on web browsers, as in the form of web applications, whereas OpenGL is mainly used in desktop applications. But this does mean that this could you know, run on potentially like consoles or on phones. This has the possibility for phones as well, but it's more of a browser based approach. Next, in terms of the programming, this is JavaScript. This is written in C language, and you can access it in C++. You have even seen binding for Java as well, so it is very flexible. So I'm going to also put in brackets Java, you know, that it is possible for that as well. Next, in terms of feature set, less this has more and this is just because webgl is a lot newer than opengl opengl has been around for decades webgl i mean a decade really it's 2011 so you, you can see you know you, you can imagine opengl is going to have more features webgl has no fixed function pipeline it only has the modern programmable pipeline which is for rendering and this does have the six function pipeline you know as well so it has the modern new programmable pipeline honestly I don't see that as a disadvantage really you should know the newer programmable pipeline so th this is more of a bonus than anything it just forces you to you know, do modern good coding from the start and the main website is chronos.org for slash webgl so that's the official website and the official website for this is opengl.org and chronos is a group behind both of these just so you know and yeah that's really it so webgl is mainly for browsers opengl needs native drivers and is more designed for software that you would install you know like a pc video game for example and WebGL, you can use it for games as well, but it's more web browser games that are built in that you don't have to install extra stuff. WebGL, it can basically fake 3D textures with the help of a 2D texture, which I'll cover later in the series. In OpenGL, that's not required as it has a lot of features like geometry shaders. So you might be thinking, this video was titled WebGL versus OpenGL versus OpenGL ES. Where does OpenGL ES, you know, come into it so OpenGL ES is what WebGL is based on WebGL is based on OpenGL ES2 and that's not just plain OpenGL OpenGL ES is basically you know a subset a you know part or a subset of OpenGL and ES you know actually has fewer capabilities and is very simple you know simple to a user whereas OpenGL has a lot of capabilities and is difficult to use. OpenGL ES is used on mobile. So if you know OpenGL that's great because that means 
that you can go to WebGL very easily. If you know WebGL, it's a little harder to go the other way round. This is generally easier than this, but OpenGL provides a lot more features. So those are the main differences of OpenGL and WebGL and how OpenGL ES comes into it as well. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.